<laughs> OK, now it's over to Mark. He's got crispy Poor seafood Jack. on the menu. <laughs> All right, that's right. I've got crispy seafood. We've got squid and prawns. And everyone loves crispy squid, salt and pepper squid. And I'm going to show you how to do it today. And we are going to make our own sweet chilli sauce. Yep, yeah, that's right. We've got chilies, garlic, a bit of vinegar, and there's quite a bit of sugar in there. But it will taste amazing. I'm going to show you all the secrets a little bit later. Now it's over to Holly. Really great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, we are doing crispy squid and prawn with sweet chilli sauce. That's it, yeah. And we're and making our own sweet chilli sauce. We're making our own, yeah. So it's, uh, it's a little bit different. It's a lot easier to go and buy it in the supermarket. It but is. But this will taste better. OK, no, so we trust you. So definitely worth, worth doing it. OK, a lot of people have probably never made their own sweet chilli sauce, because, like me, you probably go to the supermarket and just <laughs> buy it in a bottle. Uh, but we're going to make it from scratch. So talk us through it, my friend. Yeah, so really, really simple. So it's all about chilies. So um, if you want to make it on your own or at home, yeah. Uh, do it at a time of year when the chilies are cheap, otherwise okay. it'll cost you a fortune, you know, okay, or grow nice. them yourselves and if you've got abundance of chilies, you know, this is perfect, you know, put it in, bottle it up and you've got it for the rest of the year. So we're just chopping them up, mm -hmm. so sort of, sort of, you know, sort of roughly semi-small. You leave the seeds in there yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, leave the seeds in there, we like the seeds, don't we? You can take some of the seeds out if you don't want it too hot. That's right, we're going to sweeten it up, it'll be alright. Yeah, I mean there's quite a lot of sugar in there, you know, even cool. despite saying there's just a little bit, there is quite a lot. Um, but it's sweet chilli sauce, which you made yeah. a point uh, That's last right. Time. Yeah. Yes, it can't be sweet chilli <laughs> sauce if there's no sugar in it. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so now we're chopping up some yeah, garlic. Yeah, so we've got a bit of garlic as well, so we chop it there. So lots of chilies, so you can use yep. different colours. So we've got some green ones and red ones there, you know. You use different types of chilies if you want as well. Okay. Um, or just the box standard ones, what you get from the supermarket. Nice one. Right, and then I've just got a cup of water in the saucepan. Yep, and we're bringing this to the boil. Yeah, so bring that to the boil. You can pop the sugar in now. Okay, cool. Uh, pop the sugar Excuse in first, me. so there's quite a bit in there. Yeah, there um, is. And then just dissolve it. Okay. And then you just, it's just going to cook down. See, all this liquid's going to cook off, the sugar's going to get thicker, and it's almost going to make, um, you know, like a syrup. So that's what you're after. That's the consistency, and, and that's what you're going to get from the uh, sugar. Excuse me again. Um, it's like making toffee apples, isn't it? <laughs> With no toffee or apples. <laughs> no, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but, yeah, very similar. Okay, so, cool. This just... Oh, this is happening pretty fast, which yeah, is yeah, no, good. Yeah, so that's good. All right, and then so you can put all the, uh, all the chilli in there. Okay. So we'll get all that in, and the garlic that goes in. And make sure we get all that in there. Nice work. So I guess this is going to have a fresher taste than it usually does, because you're making it yourself. Yeah, exactly. And it, and, it's, and it always tastes better if you make it yourself, mm. you know? And everyone it's... loves to know where their food's coming from, so... Exactly. You know, and if you grow thing. the chilies as well, it's just a, you know, it's a great way of using them. And I've got some white wine vinegar in there for a bit of acidity. White wine vinegar? Yeah, cool. yeah. Okay. so that goes in. Bring it up to the boil, turn it down, and then we're just going to keep cooking it until it just reduces down, nice. gets thicker and tastier and yummy. Is that, a, is that how easy it is to do yeah, that? That's it, yeah. Fantastic. So okay. don't buy it ever again. No, that's right. Yourself. Make your own when the chilies are cheap. <laughs> OK, uh, get the recipe, cafe.co.nz. What are we going to work on now? Right, and then so we're going to... Um, we're going to prep the uh, prawns and squid in the second pot, so I'm going to yes. show you how to do that. And then it's just a really quick batter mix. Uh, well, not even a batter mix, just a flour mix and okay. some egg whites as well to get it nice and crispy. But once the squid and uh, prawns come out and it's nice and crispy, it's quite nice to um, season them with a bit of a spice mix. So you can do any spice mix you want, but I've just found some ingredients in the pantry actually before. Nice. And uh, I'm going to use them. So this is a Szechuan pepper. Okay. So have you ever had this before? No. So it's great. So it's really sort of aromatic, fruity, spicy, and it always makes you uh, lips and sort of mouth tingle. It's mm. really good. It's okay, a, that's a good sensation. Sort of sound in, um, <laughs> found in, uh, in Asia, which is really good. So, so I'm going to use the base as that. Uh, and then I've got some coriander seeds as well, just to, just to give it some nice sort of orangey sort of fruity characteristics. And then I've got a little bit of salt and a little bit of uh, smoked mm. paprika as well, which we can sort of mix in, in there. But you can use any spices you want, different quantities, um, entirely up to you. And we're going to use that as a flavoured spice mix. So we're just going to lightly toast those. Yep. And then we're just going to grind them in a pestle and mortar to get nice and fine. Yeah. Use a sieve as well just to sort of strain out the husks. Uh, and then you get a really fine powder and then just blend it with your salt and your paprika after. I'm quite disappointed that not enough people use squid at home. So this is really good. Oh, I, I love squid. You do? And uh, it's brilliant. And, uh, you know, you can go to the fish market and get fresh squid and you can use all the tentacles and the whole of the squid if you want. There's a little bit of preparation in there, but it's pretty easy to do. Or you can just buy these frozen tubes, which are great. Keep them in the freezer, yeah. defrost them, and you can whip this up really, really fast. Or even, you know, you don't even have to deep fry it. You can just fry it in a hot pan, and it's, it's fantastic. Brilliant, OK. It, yeah. Well, we'll come back, we'll prep the squid, and we will prep the prawns in just a minute, straight after we check in with Holly, who's probably got something we could need right now. We need to get the seafood on the go. Our sauce is reducing now. It's time to prep the prawn. Right, so the prawn. So really easy to prep if you get whole ones, don't be too scared. All you need to do, firmly hold the tail, firmly hold the head, 
Squeeze and twist. Squeeze and twist. And there you go, you can take the head off. It's a little bit messy, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it's easy, so you just do that. And then from the uh, underside, you just want to peel, and you can just peel this. It's okay. like you've got a really thin shell. Oh, yeah, look at that. You know, so you can just go, go there. Just make sure you get all the shell off. Took that there. And then if you get the tail, squeeze the tail mm -hmm. and pull. And oh, it works! And it, and it just comes out, so then you've got all the prawn meat there. Good so work. that's nice and easy. Do you want me to do the rest? Yep, so if you do the okay. rest, I'll get onto the squid. OK, I can handle it. And Chief. then keep all the shells and the heads, because this makes okay. a fantastic sauce or a soup. OK. You know, if you collect them, collect them, keep them in the freezer, and then you can make a, get enough for a soup. It's great. Right, oh. so squid tube. So I'm just going to trim the ends off and just square off the side. Right, so nice and easy. And then you just want to cut it in half. OK, so you get... Uh, you get the half, and then just give it a little scrape, just so you get any excess sort of uh, membrane or any bits and bobs off there you don't want on there. How the prawns going? Yeah, good. Good. I didn't do the old tail bit as good as you, but that got most of it. There you go. Right, and Look then that. yum yum. Oh, good, good job, good job. Right, and then the secret then is what you want to do is just lightly score the underside, okay? So sharp knife, not going all the way through. Why are we scoring the underside? Well, this is going to help it curl and this is going to help it tenderise ah, and okay. cook faster. And then you'll get a nice juicy piece of uh, squid. Jeez, you did a good piece of squid at your restaurant when I was there. I enjoyed there. that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. I love that. It so, so it's good. pretty much the same way. So we, we prep it the same way. We're just going to do it into little, um, little pieces. So we'll do the same on the other side. So take it off, give it a good score. Mike's doing the prawns. And then once you've done the squid, we've got the prawns. So once you've peeled the prawns, yep. you know, if you've got a bit of time, just give it a wash, make sure you get sort of all the bits and bobs out. And then yep. it's important now, you want to get the uh, tube out of it. Well, the poo tube? The poo tube, yeah, I didn't want to say that, but <laughs> no, maybe well, you said it, yeah. It's so, real. Well, yeah, so we want to get this out. So just carefully, sharp knife, just go down the back not all the way through, just a little bit, and you'll just expose that. OK. OK. <laughs> That's why we take it out. And then all you want to do is just take it out. There you go. It's on there. So, you, you know, you make sure you've got that. And then you can cut into your prawn a little bit more. And then as that cooks, it's going to butterfly out and it's going to cook really fast oh, because we're sort of beautiful. halfway into it as well. And then all we want to do now is get a bowl of egg whites. Yep. OK. Just leave that on there. Jeez, I'm never better with your recent. I'm so slow at this. <laughs> give it a little whisk up. And then we're going to put all the seafood in a bowl. And then we're just going to give it a light seasoning with some lime juice. Okay, so a little bit of zest. Yes. So I get some zest on there, and I'm going to put a little bit of juice on there as well. Okay. And you can sort of let that marinate just for, you know, just like a, you know, five, ten minutes or so. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just getting some flavour into it to get underneath the batter. Give that a good mix up. Then we go in the egg white. OK. And then into another bowl, we've got some corn flour. Yeah. And rice flour. So this okay. makes it gluten free. Mm-hmm. Give that a good mix up with your hands. I could, I could, I could smell my hairs burning. <laughs> I thought I'd better turn that element off. <laughs> OK. OK, so that's all mixed up. And then you want to take the excess um, egg white off. Yep. And then pop it in. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Give it a good shake. Give it a good shake, make sure it's all coated. Yeah. And then pick it up, shake your excess off, and then pop that into straight into a hot deep fat fryer. OK, and nice. And then that'll crisp it up, and probably about two and a half to three minutes, that'll be nice and crispy. Drain it off, and then season it with our spice mix, which we've just ground down there. Nice, and our sauce is coming along great. That Let's spice mix sauce. is incredible. Don't worry if you missed anything. Make sure you get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. This is going to be delicious. <laughs> okay, over to Mark now. And how crispy are the prawns and the squid? Very crispy. <gasps> So just drained it off, just going to finish it. So just sprinkle and shake so it gets a nice even coat of that spice. And then we'll pop them onto our plates. Oh, that looks fantastic. My favourite meal. And it's... <laughs> yeah. One of them. <laughs> Bit and chocolate. And then here's our sweet chilli sauce. So if you let it, let it cool down a bit, it'll start oh. getting nice and thick, you know. Put that in a yeah. squeezy bottle. You should Beautiful. put that to the side. 
<laughs> what are you doing around uh, two o'clock Saturday, Mark? You can just come around and whip that up for me. That can you bring great. a deep fryer? Because I don't have one of those. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Oh, that's look. That's Ruby food. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. And that's cool. mine because it's gluten free. <laughs> What's on the menu tomorrow? All right, tomorrow I've got sticky balsamic lamb with apple and lentil sauce. Oh, that sounds really yeah. good.